Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. I was just looking in the viewfinder before I started and realised that I don't really think my face matches my neck. But how are we all doing? Today is such a... I don't want to sound bad, but today's a really good day because I have a full day to myself today. As you can probably tell, I am very happy about this. You guys know, for me, nothing quite hits the same as a day to myself. A day by myself, not having to really talk to anyone like i have always adored my own company and spending time alone like i literally flourish spending time alone um and i have a good chunk of the day today to do that which i'm really excited about this weekend just gone it's monday today has been it's been like it's been absolutely amazing. Like, I had probably one of the loveliest weekends I've had in a really long time. On Thursday evening, I actually booked a last-minute flight <coughs> to go and visit my friend Taylor in Marbella. I literally booked the flight, and the next day, myself and Bambi, we hopped on a plane together, just me and her. And I feel like I've spoken about it quite a lot on my Instagram story, but I can't help but just feel, like, really proud and, like, I just can't believe that I did it. It was just so spontaneous. And when I was lying in bed on the Thursday evening after having booked the flight, I was like, what have I done? Like, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to cope. But it was so good. And it was, like, so much easier than I thought. We literally had the best weekend ever. It was so wholesome, so chill. So on a day like this, where I get a little bit of time by myself, where else would I be going other than the Trafford Centre? You guys know the Trafford Centre is literally, like, my happy place. I do sometimes get a little bit embarrassed and wonder, you know, do people that work in here or people, you know, when people see me in there literally all the time, I think, does this girl not have a life? Like, why is she so obsessed with the Trafford Centre? But because the Trafford Centre has a selfridge, is. I just love having a mooch around Selfridges, like having a look at the perfumes, the beauty, the clothes, like it's just like my happy place, I literally love it. Yeah, let's get going. I'm feeling sad music today, I'm in a really happy mood, but I'm feeling really sad song. Please can I get a vanilla ice latte with yeah. skimmed milk please and sugar free syrup? Yeah, so sugar free vanilla? Yes please. Yeah, anything else? Um, no that's everything, thank you. Okay, make sure you're wrong. Thank, Thank you. you. That was a bit embarrassing. I really messed up my order there. I literally die over those TikToks that are like when you rehearse your order or like when you refer when you rehearse what you're gonna say on the when you rehearse what you're gonna say on the phone and then you get on the phone and you're like I wish blah 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 I like literally make no sense or just like say completely the wrong thing. That's just literally what happened there. Nice latte. Thank you. Great. See ya. Thank you, see you later. Oh, a little bit strong, little bit strong. You can see, Costa's not normally one for strong coffees. Oh, that's a bit upsetting. Oh, it's gonna keep me awake today. Just pulled up to the Trafford Centre, but guys, I'm gonna lie, I'm really not enjoying this coffee. I'm really not enjoying it, it's just too strong. And you know when like, the coffee tastes burnt? Not that I'm a coffee connoisseur by any means, but like it has like a, I do absolutely love my new jacket, but at the same time, I do think it, it kind of gives Cheryl Cole a fight for this love energy. I think this has been the first time ever the Zara changing room cube wasn't literally out of the door, so I picked up some bits here to try on. Piece number one is this little sort of tweedy jacket. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I'm literally so happy because this is the first time in so long I've gone into Zara in store and actually found anything that I really, really like. Kind of the same vibe as my Celine one, but obviously literally a fraction of the price. Love a little Celine dupe. Next up I picked up this like sleeveless blazer waistcoat type thing. I kind of really like it. Not cutting me off on the arms where I'd normally like it, but I feel like with jeans, this looks kind of cute. the next day i really honestly got so into my day alone yesterday that i potentially kind of forgot to vlog as much as i wanted so i do apologize for that but i'm back here bambi is down for her first nap of the day i am showered i'm clean hair is washed the temperatures are rising the temperatures are rising yesterday it was like kind of a gloomy rainy my favorite kind of day 
and um, today bright sunshine bright like heat the heat is unbearable i had to sleep on top of the quilt last night as well got a little ice latte here i'm actually trying to be on a bit of a health kick, health kick at the minute and try to be, be a little bit healthier so i was planning to cut these out you know a few years ago i just wanted to try and drink coffee to be cool and to be like that clean girl aesthetic and like be that girl that like orders a nice latte with like the longest order ever like i wanted to be her but from trying to do that i've actually now created an addiction and now i actually am a coffee addict which like i didn't really want to happen I've ended up here where an iced latte every single day is absolutely necessary so obviously as you guys know yesterday i had a lovely day to myself that is now over back to reality but um i did a little bit of shopping and i actually managed to get into home sense so i just scooched in there and i picked up some really cute bits and guys i can't actually quite believe i'm saying this but this part of the video is actually sponsored by home sense dream collab literally my dream collab i can't believe it you guys know how much i absolutely adore home sense i'll be working with them on this part of the video is an absolute dream come true also i will just quickly add um i am very self-conscious about having my arms out what's going on with this lighting i am really self-conscious about having my arms out but i'm trying to conquer my fear of getting my arms out i used to be so confident in my arms like it used to be a part of my body that I like never used to be nervous to get out but ever since having Bambi now I'm literally like Ugh. I don't have a love for my arms but do you know what we're breaking through that barrier today first of all I want to say if you are a Halloween lover if October is your favorite month like mine you need to get into HomeSense right now the stock is incredible Halloween is thriving in there if you go in there now it's basically like it's Halloween already first things first if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen me post about this I literally cannot cope. So I picked up this elephant armchair for Bambi. Have you ever seen anything cuter in your entire life? And they had so many of these and all different animals. And she absolutely loves it. I'll insert a little picture of her here sat in it. And I think this is going to really help with her sitting up as well because it's got size. She's not quite sitting up by herself yet. We've actually been creating a little play area for Bambi downstairs. So some of the things I picked up in Home Sense yesterday are for her new play area, including this. So we can go and set it up together downstairs. Next up, again for Bambi, she got spoiled yesterday, um, I picked up this washing basket. This goes so perfectly in her nursery, it's exactly the theme of her nursery. It's like polka dots and clouds in her nursery, so this is absolutely perfect and I'm going to throw her old one out. This washing basket was £20, which I think for this is a really, really good price. It's so well made, I just think it looks so aesthetic, so cute for her nursery. But I'm also thinking about putting this in her play area just to like throw all her toys in. Then I also, along the same sort of lines, I picked up a couple more storage baskets. This one I thought was so cute, little rainbow on it. Again, very aesthetic, very the vibe of her room. Picked up another storage basket. Look how beautiful that texture is on this basket. I think it looks so expensive. I'm not quite sure how much I paid for this. This was £12. £12 for that. It was actually in the sale. It's got a little sale price on it, but I've already started to put some of her toys in there. I just think these are so perfect when you have children just to literally shove everything in. Final thing I picked up for Bambi. I literally cannot cope with this. Look at this whale. I thought this was such a cute little storage feature for her like shampoo, her body wash and stuff. So yeah, it's got little eyes on the front. Then for mum, the least important person, I picked up a new bath pillow. Mine's gone so manky and you guys know how obsessed I am with bath time. It's like my favourite time of the day. This one was £7.99. It feels really nice quality. It has that really beautiful waffle texture on it, which I love. Also grabbed myself some new fresh flannels. You can never have too many flannels in my opinion. I also use these for Bambi all the time. And then finally, I grabbed a whole bunch. I've actually got more of these downstairs, but I decided to redo all my towels in the house because again, ours have gone kind of gross. We've had the same ones, honestly, like for a good couple of years now. These ones look really expensive. I love how they're crisp and clean and white they look. I love the texture on them. Really give me like hotel towel energy. Oh my gosh, as well, before I forget, the pièce de résistance, I'm gonna insert a, a video here. I found the most incredible chairs. The furniture in the specific store that I went into was absolutely unbelievable. They had so many amazing bits. And yeah, I found these chairs. They took my breath away. And I literally was like standing by them because I didn't want anybody else to take them. I was like, nope, these are mine. I'm actually working on a secret project at the minute, which I'll tell you guys all about soon. I was waiting for it to be finalized. And I thought these chairs would be absolutely perfect for that. So yeah, I bought both of those chairs. fast 
life can come at you when you're least expecting it. So when we bought this house, you guys may remember that this was actually a bar. Fast forward a year and this is where we're at. It's now a play area. So yeah, we've turned this little area that enters into our living room into Bambi's play area. Now, I absolutely love this house so much. It will always hold such a special place in my heart. But if I'm completely honest, if we were looking for a house now with it in mind that we have a child and, you know, we have a baby and I just think when we were when we bought this house, we weren't thinking about children, which is weird because we knew we wanted to have children. I never considered a playroom, basically. And yeah, it's something that I regret a little bit because each room in this house, I feel like has a very specific purpose. Like my office is now completely an office. I don't really feel like I could turn that into a playroom. Our living room, I just feel like we've sort of missed out on the opportunity to create a bit of a playroom which is a bit of a regret and also because the house is so open plan I feel like there's not really a space in the house where you can put all her toys and shut the door and act like that mess is not happening but Bambi is so lucky and I do feel so grateful that we are even able to create the space for her and just you know lay her toys out in a little little area which I do feel like is still a little bit concealed because unless you turn around the corner you don't see this area so this could be her messy space I feel like so I just ended up ordering some shopping from Deliveroo the laziest move ever but when the baby's napping in the house what are you meant to do when you need some lunch so um, I ordered some bits from Sainsbury's just to make a chicken salad for lunch. I'm trying to be healthy. It's really not working. Why is it whenever I say I'm going to try and be good at the minute, like I'm going to try and start eating a bit healthier, that my body decides to be extremely hungry? I know it's psychological. Like, it has to be psychological. This While my chicken sausages are cooking, I actually also do have a bit of, like, a personal announcement. Um, I've started with a personal trainer. Some of you guys will know how much of a big deal that is to me. I have created such a huge, sorry, the sausages are really sizzling. But um, as you guys know, I have been struggling massively over the last, I'd probably say like, basically since Bambi's born, just to basically get back into the swing of exercising again. I've spoken about it, I literally sound like a broken record. But basically, little announcement to say, I have actually started with a personal trainer. Um, a girl that comes to my house twice a week. I've been doing it with Erin, so we've been doing it together. Um, and you know what? I've actually been really enjoying it. I feel like because it's not ridiculously hard, like a Barry's class, which I build up anxiety for, and then I end up not wanting to go. It's still enjoyable, and there's no like competitive feeling. But yeah, I've started with a PT. It's a massive step for me, like literally huge, because being exercised over the last few months, like we've really, we've come to blows. We've come, there's been beef, there has been major beef between us, but we're working on it. last spoke when I was making lunch but now I've just made my dinner which is a chicken pitta with salad and I use my air fryer for the first time I don't know why this has turned into, into a what I eat in a day <laughs> um, but yeah chicken pitta for dinner so quite healthy it's a little bit dry because I'm with some sauce in there oh well done yay perhaps in rolling yeah. proud of how far we've come in terms of when was the last time that she didn't take a bottle from you 
That's six months ago. <laughs> She's six months now, so... But no, literally months ago. Like, all that problem of... Four months ago. It, yeah, honestly... It's, we never have that problem anymore. It's like never a thing. Hey guys, checking back into this vlog that's been very mishmash. Once again, not my finest vlogging skills, but as you may notice, I'm coming back into this vlog with a little bit of a hair transformation and boy was it needed. I was able today to get a hair appointment in with Emily and oh my gosh, I feel so much fresher and I've gone quite a bit shorter as well. So obviously I've got my extensions back in, but we've cut them a lot shorter than I'd normally have them. Normally I literally get my extensions down to about here, but I feel like I want to start wearing my hair down more because I'm literally, bread, bread, don't scratch your claws on the furniture. That noise literally sends shivers down my spine when the cats claw at the furniture. It's so upsetting. Just me and my baby monitor. Honestly, me and this thing, like, we're never apart. She's just gone down for... Her sleep, it's literally just gone to I've just put her down, she's had a nice bar. She's been a little diamond today. But yeah, so little hair transformation. I'm basically what I was saying, I want to st try and start wearing my hair down quite a bit more. But so I decided to go shorter because I feel like maybe if I go shorter, it's less to wash, it's less to style. Today is a little bit of a, I guess you could say a bit of a sad day in a way because Tommy has gone into his like, official camp today so he's been basically been in camp for like the last few weeks but he's gone into his camp where he has essentially now like moved out of the house um for quite a long time actually like you know it's probably gonna be about two months that he's not i keep playing my hair sorry uh, yeah about two months that we won't be living together and um, that's just the way training camp is he's done a, a couple of each now like where some training camps he's done while staying at home and before Bambi, that was kind of okay because I guess like I was the only distraction and I was the only thing that would kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, but like make him soft and sort of take him out of that boxer's mindset. But now he has Bambi here. And as much as he would absolutely love nothing more than to stay at home for the next two months and train from home, like the camp, like camps are so serious that like, you just can't mess around in a training camp. And if there's one thing Tommy does, it's like he takes it so, he takes it so seriously because it's his job at the end of the day and it's a really, really big deal. He would never ever go into a fight with anyone half-heartedly. Like he prepares for every single fight he's ever had exactly the same. He puts his all into it. Um, so this camp he is doing away from home. Not that you guys really see him much in my vlogs anyway, which I'm sure you guys probably sometimes think like, we never see Tommy in her vlogs, but that's one thing that, like, with my channel, I don't know why I'm going on like a big deep chat here, but I know a lot of channels that I watch of people that I love, you know, they often feature their partners in their videos quite a lot, and a lot of my favourite YouTube channels, it's kind of like they do like a sort of family channel, and you always see their partner, you always see their husband, you always see, like, them all together, but my channel's not really like that, it's always been me, and Tommy doesn't really love being... He doesn't mind it, but like not all the time he doesn't love being filmed or want to be, you know, videoed and stuff. And that's another thing as well. People always say like, why do you do, don't do you do your own reality show or why don't you don't do TV? Um, it's just not us. Like, it's weird because I can so happily do this and I can so happily come on here and chat to you guys literally until I'm blue in the face. But with Tommy, it's just not... When we film together, we get really awkward. Not, not on when I'm doing it for my channel, but we've done like small bits of TV work before. Oh my gosh, as well. I keep... Sorry, I'm trying to have a conversation, but then I keep sidetracking and remembering things I want to tell you guys. Um, At Home with the Furies on Netflix. I think by the time this video, no, this video is going live tomorrow. And it, oh my gosh, it comes out tomorrow. It comes out on the 16th and tomorrow's the 15th. Um, I'm really excited. I can't believe we're going to be on Netflix. For anyone that hasn't seen, At Home with the Furies is a Netflix show that's coming out when this video is released. It's coming out tomorrow. And it's basically a documentary series all about Tommy's brother Tyson's life and his family. And obviously, we are part of that family. And we did feature in the show. Well, to be fair, we featured in it quite a bit. It started off like just to, to be... I think we were just meant to be featuring in it once and then they were like, oh, do you want to do this and do that? And then next thing you know, we were in it quite a bit, but it was actually so fun to do. So yeah, that's coming out and I'm really excited to see it. Although I'm pregnant literally the whole way through filming. So I'm kind of anxious to see a few of the scenes and what I look like and stuff. Because I literally don't even remember what I looked like whilst I was pregnant. But what I do remember is that I literally... I don't think I really made much effort for the filming, I'll be honest. I don't even remember my original point now. What was I saying? Yeah, that was it. That's like the only TV stuff and like other Love Island bits as well that we had to do when we came out of the show. That's the only TV work that Tommy and I have really ever done together. Um, and 
I don't think we'd be very, I don't, well, I don't know, never say never. There has been conversations about it and stuff in the past, but I just don't think it's something that we'd probably feel particularly comfortable about because we just, yeah, we don't like filming together. Anyway, that was a really long winded story time. But anyway, back to my first very original point where I've sidetracked about 10 times. Um, Tommy's left the house today. So yeah, it's a bit of a down in the dumps day, but I think I'm gonna have like a bit of a self, not necessarily self care evening because I've literally just had my hair done. But I thought we could just sort of get on ready together, maybe cook a bit of dinner, put a nice film on and we could just chill this evening. It really made me laugh the other day as well. I put up a main page post on my home account and it was a picture of me and Eggy chilling on the sofa and everyone was like, you never post bread anymore. Oh my gosh, like you always leave bread out. But the reason I literally posted a picture specifically with Eggy was because everyone kept saying to me that I was leaving Eggy out and only posting bread. And I was like, I literally can't win. If I don't post one of them for like literally five minutes, everyone's like, where's the other cat? Has the other cat gone? No, they are both still very much here. As you can see, look at that cat. He is absolutely incredible. Have you ever seen anything like him? I've never seen a cat like it. He is just bred, honestly. You are a model. That's your spot. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, everyone. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls do skincare when their baby's gone to bed. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love spending time with Bambi, but I can't lie, this is one of the favourite part, my most favourite parts of the day. This is like where I thrive in happiness. Is that terrible? I put her down to bed, she's asleep, and I'm like, this is where I'm at my happiest. So that sounds terrible. My happiest is when I'm spending time with her, I promise. But there's nothing like when you put your baby down to bed at seven and you think, if I'm going to bed at say like 11 or midnight, that's roughly when I normally go to bed, like I've got a seven. I've got like four hours to kill doing whatever the hell I want. Like normally it's finishing off work with some bobs or whatever. But if I want to, you know, do a really in-depth skincare routine or to do whatever I want, I can. And especially now Tommy's gone. Basically, I'm thriving. I'm thriving. I'm saying it's really sad Tommy's gone. It is. Potentially the world's most unattractive angle of me. I got a message today on Instagram. It potentially did semi ruin my day. I'm not going to lie. No, it didn't really ruin my day. But it was someone sending me a picture that have been put in the Daily Mail, and to be fair, some of the pictures that have been coming out of me in the Daily Mail recently, oh lord, they, they were, they've been humbling. They've been humbling to say the least. And it's actually made me feel pretty, <laughs> a little bit crap, because I have been trying to make a little bit more effort recently with, oh gosh, this is the worst angle ever, but I'll talk whilst I get unready. I'm just gonna remove this very small amount of makeup I have left on my face with the Elemis, that's gonna focus, yeah, the Elemis. Cleansing balm as always, um, but yeah, I've had a few humbling experiences this week with some images that have come out of me in the Daily Mail, and it's basically my point was, it's a bit rubbish when you're actually trying to make <laughs> more effort, and like, even with my outfits and everything, instead of like chucking on a tracksuit like I normally would, I'm like, right, how about I chuck on a blazer instead, or like I chuck on a pair of cargoes instead of a pair of joggers, just like making small changes in like my appearance and just making a little bit more effort day to day. I just think it's all the more humbling when you I don't know, when you try and make a bit of effort and then you still look like a hot mess. That's my original point, I am, um, as always. It's like I have a degree in sidetracking or something. I'm so good at it. Um, but yeah, I got a message on Instagram. Someone was saying, I know you're, you were trying out a new pill, um, but I really think it's making you hold water retention in your face because all of these images that have come out of you recently, you just don't look like yourself. Like, where's the old Molly gone? And I was like, humbled. Well and truly humbled. And I think as well, those kind of comments don't really cut deep when you are feeling really confident about yourself and you think, you know what, I actually, I know I look good at the minute, but if I'm completely honest, like I, I don't feel confident at all about the way I look at the minute. So I think comments like that, when you're already feeling like low in self-confidence, that's when they cut deep. And this is not a pity party whatsoever. I'm just filling you guys in on basically my day. When I saw those images, I kind of already thought to myself, gosh, like, I don't look good there. And then when someone like reaffirms that for you and says, yeah, like you don't look good, that's when it's like, yeah, I already knew. Thanks for reminding me. I'm gonna use this Revitalift L'Oreal Replumping Gel Wash just as a bit of a cleanser for after my makeup removal. I really am in desperate need of a hydrofacial. I literally can see like the black dirt clogging up in my pores. I need some sort of facial that's gonna just like deeply clean my skin because I feel like I can use all the cleansers I want in the world like to actually like pull out that black dirt from like deep underneath my skin it sounds absolutely disgusting so I'm just going to pop some of this hyaluronic acid serum from L'Oreal on my skin it's their Revitalift filler serum anything with the word filler in when you don't actually have to get filler I'm here for I'm always here for a little bit of extra plumpiness in my skin 
without having to actually get filler. The thing I need to get your guys' advice on as well. Honestly, I don't know why. I'm, I'm complaining about how I look in pictures online when I'm literally choosing, I'm choosing to film myself at this angle right now. Like I know I'm gonna go to edit this and be like, why are you such an idiot? But yeah, I need your guys' advice basically. So random, but I had a piercing done in my ear about two years ago now. Guys, it's still not healed. It is still, this. I'm talking two years ago now, I had this piercing. It probably wasn't two years ago, it's probably about a, a heading on two years. I'm not even joking you. It's still causing me so many problems. Every single morning over the last month or so, I've woken up with blood on my pillow, all like blood and pus oozing out of the um, piercing. And I just don't know what to do because I'm like a year and a half on. Surely, surely it should be healed by now. And I'm at a point where I'm like, I don't even love the piercing that much. Do I just take it out? But I've gone on such a journey with like the healing process. I'm like, if I take it out, I've literally been in all that pain for absolutely nothing. I just feel like my ears do not agree with piercings. They never have, even my cartilage piercing here that I had done when I was like really young. Um, that took years to heal, but it's just, I can't really be bothered. And tr trust me, I will never get a piercing ever again. It is not worth it. I'm just gonna end with a bit of moisturizer. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. I actually need to get a new one of these, which says a lot about a product with me because I never ever get to the bottom of a product. I hardly ever finish products because I love trying new things. This, I constantly return to it. It's just absolutely incredible. That's my evening skincare done for this evening. I feel like I wish I could say that's my evening skincare routine, but I'll be completely honest, I switch up every single evening. Like I say, I love to try different products, different cleansers. Like I'm always up for trying new things with my skincare. I am really lucky that my skin doesn't really react to, to trying new things. I can sort of try a few different things. So yeah, I always like to mix it up. So that's been my evening skincare routine for this evening. Would it be tomorrow? Who knows? <laughs> Next step of the evening, another one of my favorite parts. Let's pick out some PJs. I actually have just realized I seriously need to go through this drawer because I'd say like a 50% of it I don't actually wear and don't really fit me anymore. When I was sorting out my wardrobe, I didn't do my pajama drawers, so I should probably go through. These ones I actually took in my hospital bag with me. These are a PRT pair. They say mama on them. They're so cute. So I think I'll, I'll wear those ones. They're super, super comfy. As you can see, the wardrobe is slowly but surely filling back up. I say that about this section. I'm kind of ignoring the fact that this section is still pretty much empty. I, it just absolutely blows my mind that a few weeks ago, this was jam-packed. I mean, literally like bursting at the seams. There was no space in my wardrobe. And the sheer amount of stuff that I got rid of, like every single section was bursting at the seams. Now... The majority of it is actually free like even if you can see like towards the back like it was all bursting and now i'm the same there in that section as well so i'm just really trying to show you because i'm just really proud of myself because i've done clear outs before right i really do pride myself on the fact that when i clear out i clear out i go for it that's what i thought anyway i thought i used to clear out no no clear out or ever, ever, ever compared to what I did the other week. My wardrobe clear out honestly has been like the best thing to happen to me recently um, in terms of like a personal thing as well as like getting a personal trainer. Like clearing out my wardrobe was just honestly, it's made me feel so much better because when I come in this room now, I know even though I literally have a quarter of the, honestly like 10% of the wardrobe I once had, I know that everything in here fits me. Honestly used to make me feel so down when I used to try on pairs of jeans on, although it definitely fit me and they didn't fit and every day like that was not a good start to my day it just wasn't like it was like a negative start to my day every time I'd come in here and try things on that they just didn't fit and that would put me in a down mood like before we'd even started the day but yeah we gutted it and I gave it all to a charity shop I literally had so many messages like which charity shop or like can you please sell all this stuff but I just charity shopped it I split the bags to like I think we did like four different charity shops and just spread them out but Literally, those charity shops got all different kinds of things with like full on labels, brand new things I hadn't even worn. We'll shut up in a minute, honestly, I've not stopped talking, but guys, also do let me know, please, if you'd like to see a haul of like the things I've been buying recently and like maybe the thing, like, because I was speaking to Erin about it and I said I'd quite like to do a haul of like the things that I've been buying. Yeah, if you'd like to see like a sit down haul of like all the different things I've been buying to restock my wardrobe with, they're all from different brands. <laughs>
cats lie like this. It means that they're in their most ultimate state of relaxation. And this is how bread is basically 95% of the time. So it makes me feel really satisfied that he's clearly living a very relaxed life. <laughs> I just want to bury my head in his fur. I've just been sat watching, <coughs> excuse me, an old season of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. What a show. What The old seasons are honestly top quality television, top quality drama. I can't believe some of the series of this show were allowed to be aired because, like, some of the things they say to the models is just... It's astonishing. Like, they're so savage and it's harsh. If these series were aired today cancelled for a lot of people i'm actually going to bring this vlog to a close i'm absolutely exhausted but i have personal training in the morning first thing at 9 a.m ah he's come to join me bread don't do that he's trying to do it on this part of the sofa now bread breed i will say though do you remember the days when i used to say that the cats were so nervous and literally couldn't go near anyone and they just used to be so scared they wouldn't literally come near me and tommy now look at them I'm using them as a pillow. If you made it to the end of this video, I love you millions. Comment down below what you want to see in my next video. And hopefully I'll see you guys very soon. Bye and good night.